There are four speed options in PTE AV Studio software. Accelerate, slow down, smooth and linear. Speed is important to the visual appearance of your animation. The default animation speed is linear, meaning the same speed from start to finish. In some circumstances that's not very appealing because our animated subject can start and stop rather too abruptly. Here's a quick rule of thumb. If your animation start and end point is hidden within a transition, then linear speed is fine because we don't see the start and stop. Animation that begins and ends on screen generally requires the smooth speed option. Now as you can see here, the movement is smooth to start and smooth to finish. If your animation starts hidden in a transition or may be off screen, but it ends on screen, then generally we need the slow down speed option. We don't see the start of the animation if the image is off screen, but we do see it come to a stop. Any animation that begins on screen but ends hidden in a transition or the image moves off screen, well generally we require the acceleration speed. So let's take a look at how we can add these speed options. They need to be applied to the keyframe that starts the animation and they need to be applied to all of the animation that we've used pan, zoom or rotate. Selecting the right keyframe for these speed options is our first task. With the keyframe selected we need to go to the top right of the screen to the pan modifiers and we need to select the speed and then the smooth option. We have to remember though that we've got to repeat this for zoom and rotate. Remember this image moves three times, so we have to apply the same speed options to the other two keyframes, here and here. To finish, let's look at a simple pan from left to right of a full screen image. Our panned animation starts and ends within the fade transition of this image on screen and off screen and it's shown here and here. So linear speed is all we need. However, if we change our mind and we move the second keyframe back slightly to a position before this transition begins, then a slow down speed would be appropriate to ensure the pan comes to a gentle stop. Now let me press play here, we can see the pan begin, but more importantly how it comes to a gentle stop. Now at any time you can remove speed options you've already applied. Just select the correct keyframe to start, Go up to the top right and in this little option here you can see you can disable a speed option or quickly remove it. So these speed options are vital with many of the animation techniques we use. They avoid that unsightly and abrupt start and stop that we're seeing here. With this image starting and ending its movement on screen Linear really isn't appropriate, smooth is better.